Hello, my beautiful roses. Welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I hope all of my divine feminines and divine masculines are healing, growing, and blossoming. For those who are new to my channel, welcome to my priestesshood. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing, and even donating. If you like to donate to this channel, you can do so through PayPal, Cash App, or my Amazon wish list. I apologize for the background noise. I am trying to wash clothes and wash my bedding and I thought about putting it on pause so I could film but to be honest I don't have time I need my laundry to be done here soon so um hopefully the noise won't be too bad or too distracting for you guys so I apologize but a girl's gotta gotta wash her bedding and her clothes so we have four different piles here and this is a timeless reading like always and this is going to be titled messages from the seraphim the seraphim is a group of three different angels um so they are going to come in today to give you guys some divine messages for my divine feminines and divine masculines watching my channel so we again like i said we have four pals pile number ones you will be the angelite crystal so angelite for pile number one Pile number two, you guys, I think this is carnelian, if I remember correctly. So, pile number two, this is carnelian. Pile number three, you guys, this is the heart-shaped celestite. So, the heart-shaped celestite for pile number three. And pile number four is the garnet, the garnet crystal. So again, pile number one, angelite, pile number two, carnelian, pile number three, celestite, and pile number four is the garnet. For pile number ones, if you chose the angel carved angelite stone, this is your timeless reading on messages from the seraphim, which is a group of three angels. Again, apologies for my laundry in the background. My tarot room is like right next to my um, laundry hookup, so. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna have to get my Oracle book. I forgot I was using this deck, and this is like the one Oracle deck I always seem to need my book for. which is the Crystal Spirit Oracle. It's a great deck, but I have a hard time um, getting my own personal messages from this deck. Sometimes, it just, it just depends, because some stones, I automatically know their properties, and other stones, like, I can't remember. So I'll have to look up the meanings in the Oracle book here for that deck. Anyways, pile number one, messages from the Seraphim. Oh, wow, this is the first card I actually noticed um, just now. And look, it's a photo art for um, of an angel. It says, you are safe. And it's also Archangel Michael at that. And he is actually one of the angels of the Seraphim. So this is like kind of giving me goosebumps right now. That's really, really cool. Um, it says, Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, guarding your loved ones, and guarding your home. So, so far, this is a great message. Um, I really feel like since this card came out, um, this may be mainly a message specifically from the Seraphim Archangel Michael instead of like all of them or one of the other ones. I feel like Pile number one, this is mainly Archangel Michael coming through to speak to you and to give you a message. And he's trying to tell you that you are safe, your loved ones are safe, your home is safe. Um, if you've been experiencing bad health um, or having some sort of health problems, um, you need to nourish your body more, have a better diet that suits uh, your body's needs. Or either if you have been doing that, if you have been eating well, 
and possibly even exercising, it's going to pay off. Your health will end up better. Um, but for others of you, he is coming through to tell you to please take care of your health by what you eat, what you drink, especially what you drink. You guys, honestly, the, the main thing we all should be drinking is mainly water. You see all this water coming down? That is the main thing we should be drinking. Like cow's milk is actually not good for you. Um, and neither, obviously, neither is a lot of fruit juices and stuff like that. Um, and especially sodas. Sodas are like the fucking devil. So I'm, I'm not trying to offend any of my soda drinkers here, you know. But it is, soda is like, I always look at it as like cancer in a can or something. <laughs> like it's just... I only have one like every now and then, but um, he's coming through to just tell you to please um, pay, pay more attention to what you're putting into your body and treat your body like a temple and nourish it and eat well and drink well, drink plenty of water. And if you can try to get some exercise, even if you have a hard time moving around, the smallest bit of movements that you can make However it is, whether it's your arms, your legs, or your whole body, or your abdomen, your core, um, any kind of small movements in any area is beneficial, and it's better than absolutely nothing, than uh, nothing at all. So, um, yeah, I'm also seeing the number seven here. So, someone could be born on the seventh day of any month. Someone could be a life path number seven. Isn't the number seven for the month of July? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think seven is the number for July, so someone could be born in July here. Archangel Michael is also saying that you are actually on the right path or you're about to be on the right path. Some of you are realizing that you're a, some, yeah, some of you guys are actually just now realizing that you're a light worker yourself, um, that you have your own intuition you're starting to look more within yourself for answers maybe you guys are starting to use your own intuition and third eye in order to um, be on the right path and to see where you're going and what you need to know he's also coming in to tell you to, to say no to something it says no wait, postpone, pause, say no. So he's wanting you to say no to something. And I think it has, for most of you, it has something to do with your home life or your family life or like a family member or something to do with home or your home life or like where you grew up. Or it may have something to do with school, college, some sort of education or teaching. Or some of you are thinking about joining something, like a membership or some, or joining something, maybe even joining um, some sort of religious thing or spiritual or something, something like that. And, it's, and Archangel Michael is telling you to say no For some of you, he's saying to say no to someone who's in college or someone that's a student or a teacher. Or to say no involving someone you grew up with or a family member or something like that. Hmm. I'm also seeing the number 19. So someone here could be 19 years old. Someone here could be born on the 19th of any month does not have to resonate for everyone though he's saying to surround people uh, with love some of you may have kind of like a toxic family dynamic and archangel michael is saying that you're going to have your soul family soon or some of you already actually have your soul family so try to spend the holidays with your soul family um, because they're not as toxic as your family life or you know who you're around who you grew up around that's the message i'm getting for some people here yeah spend more time with your soul family spend the holidays with them because they're the ones that show you true genuine love 
but I feel like your home life is kind of like a chaos tower moment and a lot of you guys don't have much to do with your family or your parents or your home life or something like that. So try not to get too down about that, especially during the holidays and just spend a lot of time with your soul family because that's where you truly belong. Wow, we have initiation twice. Huh. Someone here... And it says, don't let your past hold you back. Something's going on with some of you involving school or college or something that you're initiated in, in your past. And it's not been healthy for you because it's holding you back. Maybe you were kind of like a yes person with whatever you were initiated or involved in. But you need to put your foot down and say no. And don't let your past hold you back involving this initiation that you were involved in. This could be school, college. It could have been something spiritual or religious. We also have write a gratitude list. So Archangel Michael is definitely wanting you guys to um, show more gratitude. Or just to be more thankful or something like that. I'm not saying, you know, you're not. But... Sometimes we forget to give thanks or show gratitude or give offerings or burn a candle or, you know, burn something. And it's just reminding you to um, also be thankful for the even the small things and the good things that are going right in your life. Uh, you definitely have a lot of luck coming in. There's a lot of luck coming into your home, I'm hearing. There's going to be luck knocking on the door of your house. Archangel Michael also wants to let you know that you are very loved by your soul family. Your soul family, your soul tribe, you either already have them in your life and you have a lot of good memories with them and they love you so much and they appreciate you. Or you are about to, um, some of you are starting to make memories with people and they are actually going to end up being your soul tribe or your soul family. I feel like, um, yeah, some people are already involved with their soul family and others of you are just now kind of finding each other and just now starting to make memories. But these will end up being like um, very long lasting friendships. Some of you are definitely living in some sort of fear based mentality and I feel like it's involved with something to do in your past. Some of you have also been feeling like you're not safe. Others of you have been dealing with issues with college or school um, or tests, like taking some sort of test. I'm hearing like school tests, college tests. I'm even hearing medical tests, passing some sort of medical test. And it's putting you in a lot of fear, anxiety. Some of you are also in fear of your health or living in a fear-based mentality involving your health. And some of you are very um, scared of what's going on with school or college or some sort of like certificate in something. That you have a lot of luck on your side or either luck is like about to come in and help you with everything you're having issues with. Um, we also have aqua or a quartz card here. I'm going to look in my book really quick to see what it says. We also have the number six. So you guys, you could be born in the month of June. Uh, some of you could be born on the sixth day of any month. Some of you could be a life path number six. I'm also seeing the number 11 and 55. Someone here could be 55 years old. Okay, so this aqua aura quartz is about connecting to infinite potential a renewed sense of purpose, wonder, and awe. <laughs> the Earth is only one planet within a solar system, within a massive galaxy that itself is a mere speck within a vast universe. 
How awesome is it to recognize the power we all have when we choose to see ourselves as part of this incredible creation and when we tap into the universal consciousness that continually generates love and guides us with the wisdom of the ages. The appearance of this crystal is a message to you to seize your uh, cynic side of yourself and to seize your worry and fear and to open your heart to the wonder that is your life. It says how unlikely we all are and yet we are here. Drink in the magic of life in your body on this planet and let yourself be filled with wonderment. Open yourself to healing in its many forms as the universe eternally creates new beginnings and generates abundance. Today is a day to appreciate the magic that is everywhere. And that kind of like, that kind of um, is kind of giving me a little bit of goose gum. Uh, I can't talk. I'm tongue tied right now. Um, cause like part of me like wants to shed a tear and part of me wants to get goosebumps because the very last sentence in that book is exactly what I've been hearing all day this morning and also yesterday. And that is a message I keep hearing that, um, especially for those who are in fear for their health. Um, if you guys are in bad health, especially, or you may be like fearing death or something like that. Um, it, I kept getting these downloads and these messages to just appreciate life. And um, because everything is magic. Everything is magic. It's a miracle we're here. And um, I, we all need to appreciate every little magical thing on this planet or around us or situations. Even when things are tough. But I really kept hearing over and over the sentence, just believe in the magic, believe in the magic, or believe in the magic around you. Because I kept hearing and seeing like literally the entire planet just being a big form of magic. Some kind of random downloads I've been getting this morning and yesterday, but thought I would just share that because I thought it was kind of eerie how it literally said what i've been hearing for like two days now but yeah you guys luck is definitely on your side if you're having concerns or worries regarding something you just started or something you initiated yourself in do not worry luck is on your side regarding that as well as those who are dealing with health issues and having a more healthy body and mind and, you know, luck is definitely on your side when it comes to your soul tribe and your soul family. Just please remember to show gratitude, especially to Archangel Michael, because he is definitely protecting you, keeping you safe, keeping your loved ones safe, keeping your home and your home life safe for you. So try to show some more gratitude to him. Maybe light a candle for Archangel Michael to show that you are thankful. And I feel like he would really, really appreciate that. All right, guys, I love you all. And if this resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like. Share this video as well if you would like to do that. Um, subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff. I love you guys. And we're going to go ahead and move on to pal number two. All right, my pal number two is that chose the Carnelian Angel. This is your timeless reading on your messages from the Seraphim. Okay, some of you guys could be a Libra or have Libra in your birth chart, but that does not have to resonate for everyone because I am seeing the scales of balance here. Okay, you guys got a lot of abundance coming in, a lot of abundance. And some of you I'm hearing either, some of you don't see this abundance coming. And then there's others of you that are, is like, finally, I knew it was coming. I just been waiting like, um, but you're, some of you or most of you actually are yeah, definitely going to be receiving this abundance. Some of you didn't realize it was coming. Others of you did. Or if you did expect this abundance to come, you are going to get more than what you expected. Okay. So yeah, that is what I'm seeing. 
most definitely. Those who were expecting abundance of money, you're gonna get more than what you expected. Others of you that were not expecting it, it's coming. I'm hearing it's possible that you've had some like imbalances in your finances or imbalances like with your abundance or prosperity. Um, maybe you felt like things weren't really fair, how things were, how things were going regarding uh, your work, career, or finances. But um, the seraphim is here to tell you that the scales is about to be balanced. Your money is about to be balanced. Your abundance, pros prosperity, and everything is about to be balanced. So do not worry about that. I'm also hearing from the seraphim that you guys need to take some more spirit baths. If you do not know what a spirit bath is, it is a form of like a magical concoction of like different types of salts, herbs, essential oils, that type of thing. Spirit baths. I mean, you can, if you want, you can literally just use um, like dead sea salt or something. You don't have to add everything, but... The seraphim wants you to know that you need to take more spirit baths, um, specifically ones that are for protection or for ones that are like the ones that are good for like um, protection from evil eye or just like protection ones in general. I'm even hearing uncrossing. So any kind of spirit bath like that would be very beneficial for my pal number twos. Because it's very possible someone has been sending you evil eye here. Someone that does not have their life together. Someone that needs realignment within their own life has been sending you evil eye. Or they may have been trying to do some sort of magic on you for some of you. So you need to protect um, yourself from this person who has been doing that uh, through some sort of spirit bath here. Yeah, this person, I feel like, stressed you out. Um, they could have been a lot of toxicity, a lot of drama, a lot of low-vibing shit. Could have been a karmic in your life. Um, but they, they stressed you out. They gave you anxiety. You felt like you couldn't breathe or be yourself around this person. And it's like, it's possible you try to step away from this person for some of you. And this person um, started evil-eyeing you or putting magic on you. You know, something like that because you walked away and in order to have peace in your life. That is the message I'm getting for some of you. This person is a very broken and shattered person inside. And again, you need protection from them. I feel like it's a friend. Like if you, it's a female, it's a friend. She could have dark hair or dark eyes, but that doesn't have to resonate for everyone. Yeah, you guys walked away from this person because you realized that there's nothing to, yeah, it says nothing will come of this situation. Literally, you, you realize that this person can never be your true friend or a good friend or just, you know, a person in your life in general. You just knew it was just too much, you know. So you stepped away in order to get your peace again because you're tired of the drama. You're tired of the bullshit. So you stepped away. Because you realize nothing would come of this. And this person has been sending you evil eye or magic ever since. This person could definitely be spying on you through um, social media, through their phone. Yeah, this person is definitely sending you evil eye here through a telephone. Telephone. Through like, uh, like an iPhone or whatever. Through social media. I feel like they keep looking and they just look to be nosy and then they give you evil eye because they can't stand you or they're upset with you. And then others of you, they're looking to check to see if their magic is working. So I'm getting different messages for different people. Again, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a female with dark hair, like brown hair, black hair. I'm even seeing purple hair. She could be into like steampunk or vintage stuff, but that's not going to be for everyone. I'm also seeing the number seven. That could be a month, a birth date, a life path number. For either her or you. Wow, I'm seeing seven twice. Seven, seven. And they're right next to each other. I also feel like this female um, that's giving you evil eye, 
she is actually trying to change herself to look like you. That's another reason why she is um, watching your social media here. She's also spying on you guys because she is trying to change herself to look like you or to be like you. That, that also explains the duplicates here. This, this person that's evil eyeing you that you got rid of or cut ties with is literally trying to duplicate you. They're copycatting you. They want to be you. They, they want to change themselves because it says make the change. And it also says over here, time for change. For others of you, I'm getting the message that they may be trying to do shadow work in order to change themselves. Like they, for, for a select few of you, they realize that they're the problem. They're the ones that are toxic and they're trying... They know it's it's time to make the change in order to be a better person. So I'm getting different messages for different people. This person was codependent on you or codependent on something in your life. They didn't respect your boundaries. They were energy vampires. And I feel like you were in their head a lot or they kept trying to get into your head. Yeah. Someone here was really trying to get into you. They were, this female was really trying to get into your head. Or you were able to get into their head, even if it was like unintentionally, like they were always thinking about it, you. So different messages for different people here. I feel like the whole, this whole thing, like you knew, you knew this person was going to end up being toxic. You knew things were not going to go well or end well with you and this person. You knew there was just like something not right about this friendship or connection or situation with this female. You knew this whole time. Like, I don't even feel like you guys are shocked that you had to fucking walk away from this drama and bullshit. For some of you, this female could be a family member. So just take it how it resonates. Yeah, for some of you, they're starting to realize that they have an imbalance. And they need, they're they starting to realize they need to balance themselves. Something that they're doing or the way they behave. They need to balance themselves more. Because they're just too much. They're too toxic or too shattered or broken inside. All right, I'm going to look up this fluorite card. We also have the number 24. So some of you could be born on the 24th day of any month. It does not have to resonate for everyone. I'm also seeing the number 19 and the number 46. All right, so with this card, we have fluorite. And the essential meaning of this card is about clarity and purity, clear focus, and a end to cluttered thinking. It says, when the way forth is clear, a sense of purpose and enthusiasm arises and the fog of distractions lifts. Fluorite spirit appears when confusion is about to go away, which it means giving away to pure wisdom and free intentions in the long run. It reminds you that you can achieve clarity by slowing down and consciously choosing to release any confusion or distractions which I feel like most of you have already done. You walked away, you stepped away, you in order to save your peace. Yeah, for some of you, this person that's been um, like spying on you, kind of stalking you, giving you evil eye or either, um, you know, dark magic on you. I feel like for a lot of you, um, they're trying to do like shadow work, even if they don't know what shadow work is. It's like they're trying to see their faults and to fix them and they're trying to, or they may be realizing that they're the problem. If they're not going through that now, they will soon. So overall, the, the messages from the seraphim here is definitely involving, mainly involving this female in your life that you've had these issues with. Because that is that seems to be the main message I'm getting, other than the fact that you guys are going to have more balance in your money, more balance in your abundance and prosperity. 
things are going to be a lot more fair regarding um, your financial situations. And to also protect yourself with um, protection candles or protection bath, uh, protection spirit baths. And to continue to guard your inner peace as well. Even if this, even if this female changes and does her shadow work, I mean that doesn't mean you have to go back to her being a friend or go back to having that family connection or whatever it is to you. You can still choose to be by yourself and protect your peace. You don't have to deal with this person if you don't want to, even though they've done the shadow work or they're going to. Some of you, if you do want to be friends with this person again or deal with this person again, that's your choice. That's your option. Um, you guys will know what is best for you in this situation. So that is everything that I'm seeing for pile number two. If this video resonated, please let me know how it did in the comment section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, share this video, all that great stuff. I love you guys so much and I appreciate you very, very much. And we're going to go ahead and go into pile number three. Hi, pile number threes that chose the heart-shaped, oh, Celestite. Heart-shaped Celestite. This is your timeless reading on messages from the Seraphim. Oh my God, wow. Wow, 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 look at this. So the Seraphim is a group of three angels and they're known to have like eyeballs all over their body and I think even eyeballs on their wings. And this, if this, oh my, like, I cannot believe this right now. This literally looks like um, a seraphim angel. Wow. We also have Archangel Ariel coming through. I she's not a um, she's not a seraphim angel, but she is still coming through as well with the courage card here. So we have the tarot card guidance card. We also have the winged seer card which says you see clearly. This is also a card about clairvoyance. We also have the amethyst card, which amethyst is really good for psychic abilities, intuition. And we also have awakening and expansion here. So I feel like you guys could be tarot readers yourself, or you may be psychics or clairvoyants. You can just have really good intuition, your third eye is open, all that jazz. Um, it's like some of you are already like that, but you are about to get even stronger, even clearer. You guys are going to be receiving extra downloads. You're going to be getting more powerful. Like I'm seeing the High Priestess card, but the High Priestess is on steroids in this vision that I'm having. Like... It's a high priestess version 2.0 or something like that. Like, I'm not sure. I'm trying to describe it in the best way I can. Um, but I feel like most of you are already gifted or spiritual or enlightened. And you are about to be even more so. Some of you could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your birth chart. But that does not have to resonate for everyone. But it is saying that communication is key. Okay, so the seraphim is wanting you guys to communicate your spiritual abilities or your intuitive thoughts or whatever it is you see in your dreams or the things you even see in your head when you're awake. You need to start communicating and speaking up about your gifts and what you hear and see. I think it would help other people. 
Some of you have recently dealt with some sort of ending. It could have been an, an ending to like where you were living, an ending to a relationship, an ending to a job or situation or friendship, whatever it was. Um, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like death card energy with this gray card. So there was an ending that was inevitable that happened. And it definitely left you with a lot of tears. Um, it left you crying. It left you um, really, really heartbroken, sad, upset. Some of you may literally had someone in your life that passed away or died recently. And you, you've been heartbroken about that. So just take it how it resonates. But whatever it was, it was definitely in inevitable. Um, so it may kind of have you in your feelings or in your emotions and the seraphim is just telling you whatever it is that had happened to you, whatever ending that happened, try to um, make sure that your emotions are balanced and to keep away from drama. So like don't start drama, don't be around other people's drama, don't get involved with drama because your mental state could be very fragile right now. Um, especially while you're receiving these spiritual downloads or these extra spiritual gifts. Um, you're just, you are very, very like empathic and very sensitive right now. So it would not be smart um, to throw yourself off balance um, by making yourself unstable or like, you know, emotional by being involved in drama or starting drama, okay? It, you guys, if you've been having like itchy palms, like the hand, your hands have been itching, it's because you're about to um, receive some sort of expansion in your life. And I feel like it's about like your financial situation. So your finances, your abundance may be expanding here, especially if you guys, if your palm of your hand has been itching lately. For some of you, there's a particular person in your life that has been causing you drama. This person um, may love to smoke weed or they could be dealing weed or something about them involving weed. That person in your life that starts a drama that's like a heavy smoker or something like that, like just it, spirit saying to stay away from that person, stay away from drama involving that person. Um, that's just a message for a couple people here, a specific message. I feel like this person like loves to gossip and it's just, it's too much for you right now. But um, they're also saying you need to have the courage to expand. I'm hearing like expand your business or expand your spiritual abilities. There's something in your life that you want and also need to expand and you need to have the courage and faith to go through with it. In order for it to happen, you guys need to have the courage to take action, to take the first step towards this expansion in your life. And for most of you, I feel like this is either like financially or materialistic or either it's like um, it's something spiritual. Some of you have been feeling like you're alone. You've been feeling isolated. You've been wanting a community or some sort of like physical connection. Some of you have been wanting a friend or something like that, or just to be able to communicate or resonate with other people like face to face. I feel like, okay, for some of you, there's going to be like, I feel like some of you are about to attract like a new friend that's going to be like a best friend. Like you can have soulmates that are also friends and I feel like you guys are about to literally connect with a friend that is a soulmate. And I feel like you both are actually going through this spiritual awakening and that's why you guys are going to be able to resonate with each other. I see you guys like helping each other, like you lend a helping hand, they lend a helping hand. It's a, it's a very equal give and take friendship and for some of you it may be more than one friend like you may literally find a community and you in this community is like this with each other 
I'm also hearing you may have to meet this person, this friend, or this community online first, but eventually you'll be able to have like face a face-to-face -face, um, type of friendship. Some of you, someone here specifically is going to be able to read other people's auras. Some of you are able to see the color of other people's auras around you. And if that does not resonate with you, I just feel like your third eye, your uh, clairvoyance or your intuition, is, it's going to be like crazy, crazy strong. I'm also hearing that um, the seraphim is here to lend you this helping hand and to help you get courage to take the action to expand something in your life. Whether it's expand yourself um, in a community or like to have you know, expand your friend group. Some of you, it's to expand your spiritual abilities or psychic abilities. Um, and others of you, it's an expansion on like your business or your finances or your career, like your clientele or something like that. I feel bad though, because I feel like you guys feel very, very alone. Like uh, this, she looks alone. This is saying you're not alone. You look alone here too. Like it's it's kind of sad, but you're not alone. Like you're someone's going to be coming into your life or some sort of community or connection with other people that will be beneficial and equal give and take um, friendship or connection. I'm also hearing you guys, um, your spiritual abilities, your your psychic gifts are going to be able to help other people. So that is why it's important that you do these things and communicate these things because you're getting these stronger gifts in order to help other people, in order to ease other people, to put, other, to put people at ease, pretty much. You are being called by the seraphim to help others. So they are going to give you these extra abilities, these extra gifts, or they are going to make your current ones stronger than before. But they're doing this because it's your job to communicate what you are seeing or hearing or feeling in order to help other people. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if this resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this video if you'd like. Um, also, real quick, as far as numbers that I'm seeing, this could be a month, a birth date, an age, a life path number, but does not have to resonate for everyone. But I am seeing the numbers 12, 4, 37, 34, and 15. So that is everything I'm seeing for pile number three. And we are going to go ahead and move on to pile number four. Hi, pile number fours. If you chose the angel card stone of the garnet, this is your timeless reading on messages from the seraphim. The seraphim is a group of three angels. One of them being Archangel Michael. Okay, pal number four. Wow, you guys, you are extremely dedicated to something that you are doing right now. Others of you are just very dedicated to um, your offerings or something like that on your altars. But a lot of you are wanting some sort of power or authority. Someone here is just simply wanting the power of their body back. Uh, someone that's dealing with health issues. That's a specific message I'm getting. Someone here is having stomach issues. And um, they're just wanting their power back as far as their health. Um, but others of you, it's like you're wanting power at your job or career or within your business in order to be financially stable for yourself and your family. Some of you are a Leo. It's very possible that you guys could be a Leo or have Leo in your birth chart, but that does not have to resonate for everyone. Some of you guys are writers or you're journaling, you're writing, you're blogging, you're vlogging, you know, however it resonates for you guys. But I'm definitely seeing that 
and you're very, very dedicated to it, I see someone here trying to start a family as well. Like having um, a firstborn child. I'm also seeing someone here is going to possibly get a have conceive a child that they recently lost. Like I'm getting like rainbow baby type of thing. Um, but others of you, for the majority of you, I'm just seeing that there's going to be this like rebirth regarding you and your life and your home life and your career. There's just like this rebirth about you. You're being reborn. There's something, I'm getting messages about your Akashic records as well. And I'm hearing and seeing that you are being, you're being divinely guided down the right path in your life that you should be on that is in your Akashic records. So you're definitely on the right path on where you need to be. Everything is aligning. It's also saying you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Wow. So you guys are being reborn again in order to do your north node purpose. You guys are starting to walk into your north node purpose. I feel like the the spirits or whatever that lingers around the Kashik Record Library, it's like they're proud of you. There's something very gentle, nurturing, and caring about the way you make your content or the way you write or the way you blog or vlog. Um, some of you may even be writing music here. Yeah, someone here is definitely also creating music. And I feel like it's, it's very nurturing, very gentle, very peaceful. A lot of you, again, you're realizing that you're very unique and that you need to go down your North Node purpose. You are opening new doors and it's the door that is leading you on your path that that involve your akashic records and your north node purpose a lot of you guys are like waking up to this and that i i can see that again with this like reborn rebirth card um some of you may occasionally feel like giving up please do not it's saying your commitment is being tested so some of you may have a few things going like wrong or maybe you know you're doubting yourself or something like that but please don't do that because spirit the universe the seraphim everything they're testing your faith by testing your commitment to what you're dedicated to so try not to fill that test okay just know that you're being tested and that's why things may be a little doubtful or fearful or even rough at the moment but you're going to get through it as long as you keep your faith strong and you um, continue to be consistent and dedicated to what you are doing. I'm hearing you also need to take time for your own emotions to step back and really look at who you are and how you truly feel about yourself and your life. And that will help you with your content or whatever it is you are making or creating. I'm also seeing, um, I'm also getting a message for someone specific that it is safe and okay to come out of the closet about your sexual preference. So someone here could be gay or lesbian or bisexual um, or wanting to be like trans or anything like that. It is okay and safe for you to come out and publicize this. Some of you are because so, someone here like specifically is coming to the realization that they are a different sexual um, preference and the seraphim is saying not to worry because like I feel like whoever this message is for it's like your parents or your family may really frown down about you know LGBTQ right maybe you are afraid of letting your parents down or like making them upset for your personal choices 
um, but it's going to be okay. You need to be your true self. You guys are really seriously being reborn in several different way ways for everyone. Now, um, like I said, that's a specific message that I'm getting for someone, so don't try to force it if it doesn't resonate. I know not every viewer is LGBTQ, but someone here definitely is, and they're wanting to be public about it, but they're just a little afraid, and that's okay. They're just telling you to not be afraid. And even if you do upset your family or someone close to you, oh, well, you need to be your true self because you will be a lot happier and you will be more on your actual path in life if you just um open up about your sexuality and not be scared to upset people about it and i feel kind of weird giving that advice because like my, personally i feel like it's up to a person whether they should do that or not but for some reason that's a message that i'm getting for someone that it's safe and okay to do it and you will be protected even if people are upset with you so i don't know who that's for but we also have your potential is endless so again you know your commitment is being tested right now your faith is being tested on whatever it is you're creating or dedicated to you um, don't give up because it's seriously going to end up putting you on the throne that you belong on, the throne that you deserve. You're going to get the authority and the power and the recognition and the success that you want. We also have this blue crystal card. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's, it's a blue type of crystal. And the book says this card is about slowing down easy does it and restoring balance um I, ha I have a feeling this has to do with your dedication and to this has to do with your commitment being tested maybe you guys are trying to do something quick or do something in haste or you're putting too much on yourself um on a daily basis and it's saying that you need to slow down um and just have faith it says life's pace can feel overwhelming at times and this crystal shows up just when you need to slow down and experience serenity and balance certainty won't present itself just because you are rushing around yeah um this crystal brings the message to immerse yourself in the moment and to surrender your sense of urgency to the universe you are pushing too hard right now. So easy does it as you transition from the old ways into the new and begin to try out your new wings. Um, you are ever evolving and the unfamiliar can send you hurrying back to where you were or rushing ahead to get past the uncomfortable part. The part where you have to confront the truth that you are facing many unknown things right now your fearful ego will try to convince you that the way to get what you want or what you need is to work harder and faster and to move as swiftly as possible but your best action now is to actually slow down allow yourself to be clear on what you want so that your intentions begin to um, go in ways that will please you and as you look around, be fully present to what is in the present moment, allowing a sense of tranquility to ease, or sorry, and ease to arise in you, even though you may not be able to see what to do next. The universe has much to offer you, so take a breath and remember, easy does it. Sorry, that was kind of a mouthful. I was reading off of the um, book it comes with. <laughs> Um, as far as numbers that I'm seeing, this could be a birth month, a birth date, an age, a life path number. It does not have to resonate for everyone, but I am seeing the numbers 11, 45, 31, 44, 3, and that is all the numbers. I'm also hearing and seeing that there's like an a, a jealous ex of yours or an ex like an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend that is kind of like sly eyeing you or giving you a little bit of evil eye or something like that 
um, because I feel like they're kind of getting jealous of whatever it is you're creating or whatever power or authority you're gaining. Your ex is like, your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend is not happy about it. And I also think they're je if you're with a new person, your ex is jealous that you moved on with someone new. I feel like you guys have a lot of wisdom, which is going to help you gain and get everything that you want that you've been putting all your dedication and work into. But yeah, someone here is definitely jealous. Um, it could be also an ex-friend. Um, but someone, someone here from your past that you don't really deal with anymore, they are jealous and kind of spying on whatever it is you are dedicated to or working on or, or creating. Especially if you're like a blogger or vlogger. Or if you're just like really active on social media. And they're just like, I think they're also jealous of um, your new relationship for those that are not single. If you guys are in a relationship, some of you view you as like a power couple or you do well together when you guys bring your finances together or something like that. Or they're jealous also the fact that you are pregnant or trying to have a baby. I'm getting various different messages, so I apologize. Uh, but I believe that's everything that I see for pile number four. If you feel like this resonated, please let me know down below in the comments section. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share the video as well if you'd like to do that. Um, I love and appreciate you guys so very much. And we will do another video tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye.